Here's a short explanation of the party game, Bucket of Doom. Let's start with the basics. The game from Big Potato Games is for three or more players that are ages 18 and up because of adult themes and language. The average game time will depend on how long are the stories that people tell, but you can probably expect about 15 minutes per round that you play. The objective is to come up with the best escape plan and win the most Doom cards. What's in the bucket? Well, we have 260 objects, which are the pink and white cards, and 65 scenarios, which are called the Doom cards. To start, shuffle both the object cards and the Doom cards. Place the Doom cards face down in the middle of the playing area. Deal to each player eight of the object cards. Before dealing, players should decide if they're going to use the pink side or the white side for the round. Pick whichever player will be the first to read the Doom card. That player should flip over the top Doom card and read it aloud to all of the players. Then, place it face up on the table so that all players can see. Now players need to look through their object cards to find which they will use as part of their escape plan. Once you have a story ready, just go for it. Lay down your object for all to see and tell the story of how you will use that object to escape. So let's say for example, the Doom card says, On a dare, you spend the night on the jungle floor, you wake up, inside of a python's belly. Oh no! How will you escape? Luckily, I have Gene Simmons' tongue, which I will use to tickle the inside of the python's belly and make him feel a bit queasy until he pukes me back out. Or maybe you'll choose the snake charmer's flute, which you always have with you for such a situation and being able to play the Tube Snake Boogie by ZZ Top, which starts the snake dancing, but he's had such a big meal that it loosens his bowels and, oh, empties his stomach, leaving you only slightly digested. Ugh, gross. Anyways, the idea is to create the story that you think everyone else will think is funny or creative. It can be as long or as short as you want. It's about how you sell the story. Once each player has had their say on how they would escape the situation, now it comes time to vote on who had the best answer. Each player says who they think is the best, not voting for themselves. Whoever gets the most votes collects the Doom card. If in the event of a tie, the person who flipped over the Doom card would be able to break the tie. Once the round is complete, players discard all of their object cards and then receive eight new cards. And the game repeats with a new person being the one who flips over the Doom card. The first player to collect three Doom cards is the winner of the game. So now you know how to play so get that booze flowing, invite over your friends, and let's play.